Okay, real quickly though, I, I kind of want to give y'all a few fun facts about me, you know, just so y'all can get a kind of understanding of who I am. I'm pretty sure if you keep following me though and following the journey, you will understand a whole lot better who I am. Um, but I'm a Carolina boy. I'm straight out the country. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina, the mountains. I'm, I, you know, so I've been playing around in these mountains all my life, off in Leicester and off in Kenilworth and doing it. Just, it, you know, I'm, I'm a real mountain boy. Uh, I live in Charlotte now. You know, I've been here for the last four, about right like, six years. I love the city of Charlotte. It's just time for me to get a break up out of the city of Charlotte. From all this political climate and all this BS that we got going on that you got to see daily, you can't escape it. It's time to escape it. Um, but yeah, uh, so the solitude, I don't think that would be a problem. I move a whole lot better when I'm by myself because I don't, I, I, I'm adaptable. I'm highly adaptable, so it don't take much, you know. When I went to uh, L.A. with my homeboy last, uh, last year, we went out there for a few days. Hell, I wanted to rent an Airbnb that was a, a Gulfstream, uh, you know, like the, the big silver uh, camper trailers. It was right on the top of a mountain in Malibu, but my homeboy, he wasn't going for that. He's like, ah, man, I ain't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, like, you know, we got to see the view. We got to see what we really came out here for. We came out here to smoke some good weed and see some good sights and see all the movie stuff and all that kind of stuff, whatever. That wasn't really that super important to me, but really just seeing the country, seeing me being from... Carolina, I ain't never really been nowhere. Uh, my first time on a real plane was last year. I'm 31 years old, so that'll tell you, you know, I've just been kind of missing out on life a lot. But I will tell you this, when uh, last year, when my homeboy, the same one I went to L.A. with, he got married in uh, June, uh, June, I think, 11th, a couple days before my birthday. My birthday is June 15th, uh, one day before Tupac. You know, just throw that out there. But, yeah, um, so... I was his best man in his wedding that Saturday. That Sunday morning, I jumped on a plane, uh, went to San Juan, Puerto Rico by myself just for a few days. The first time really on a plane. I was kind of scared. But I was good out there. And um, I remember my brother, my big brother, Daryl, man, he called me on my birthday that morning. And I had a wonderful view. I was looking over the whole San Juan from my hotel, you know, with the rooftop pool and everything. It was just a, a surreal experience. And he called me and he told me something that, I, that stuck with me ever since last year. I ain't really shared this with too many people, but I will tell y'all here, you know, so. He told me, you know, what you, the, the, the time in your life that you about to enter now, you're going to have to do, you, you're going to have to be alone, you know, um. I know you're going to want to take people with you. I know you're going to want to try to save people, but what you about to embark on, this journey, you're going to have to be alone for the most part. And, boy, when I tell you, he wasn't lying because it seemed like ever since then I've been losing friends. Well, not really losing friends, but finding out who my real ones were. So i just been changing the way I move and changing the way I, I act. You know, I still got a long way to go because I will, I will bug out on you in a second if I feel like you. Uh, trying to just really disrespect me, so I got to work on that. But other than that, man, he he was pretty much right, you know. So since then, I've been to New York, I've been to D.C., Denver, all by myself. And, you know, I, I have a I have a ball. So and also, you know, uh, my favorite shows have always been things like Survivor and Man vs. Wild and Alone. You know, um, I just always wanted to see. To go rough it, you know, the Swiss Family Robinson type thing. Just get out of the way, be organic, smoke my little my little trees, and, and just mind my business, you know. So I'm taking steps toward that now, you know, and that's just where we at with it, man. But I kind of want to give y'all understanding, like, uh, I ain't really new to this solitude thing. I'm, I enjoy solitude. I'm, I'm better in my own thoughts because usually when I share my thoughts, people are like, yo, you crazy. <laughs> so that's how it go but yeah man thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for following me and uh yeah it's gonna get real interesting pretty soon it's logo <laughs>